What's up guys, Daniel Plotkin here, muscle scientist and of course muscle lover and if you love muscles too and want to grow them for yourself or for your clients, you are in the right place. Today we're going to be talking about how to maintain those hard earned gains and if you can maintain them forever. 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 Okay, so on average, it probably takes quite a bit of sets to get to maximal muscle growth, between 10 to 20 sets per muscle group per week, and maybe even more for some periods. But that likely means that it takes less to maintain the gains that you made, but how much less? But before we dive into that, let's consider why we might want to maintain gains. Well, it could be a range of things low motivation for a period of time, sickness, a minor injury that's preventing you from doing higher volumes, time, stress, and many more. There's also one that may surprise many of you muscle lovers. As a trainer in a big box gym, I often saw clients that wanted to build quite a bit of muscle, but after they were happy with the muscle that they gained, they just wanted to maintain that muscle mass. They didn't want to grow more. You might be even more surprised that many of these people stuck to their plan and didn't get body dysmorphia. Three to five years of good hard training, and then after that, a couple of hard training sessions per week with a few hard sets per muscle group per week, and they were golden. Okay, so there are some reasons why you may want to maintain, either for a period or for quite a while. So let's get into it. Here's one really cool study that informs us on how many sets it's going to take. Bickle and colleagues recruited 39 participants that averaged 28 years of age and 31 participants that averaged 64 years of age. During phase one, all of these 70 participants did the same program. They trained their quads three days per week for four months. Each session was three sets of eight to 12 reps of squats, leg presses, and leg extensions completed to volitional failure, or in other words, when the participants felt like they couldn't do another rep with good form. Unsurprisingly, both young and old grew from training, but young grew more. On average, after the 16 weeks, type 2 fiber cross-sectional area increased by 37% in the younger individuals and by 28% in the older individuals. Type 1 fiber cross-sectional area increased by 22% in the younger individuals and by 14% in the older individuals. And thylene mass, measured by DEXA, increased by 5.6% in the younger individuals and 4.2% in the older individuals. After this initial 4-month phase, they reduced volume for all participants to see what would happen to muscle. Gain, maintain, or detrain. They got split into a group that did either no training at all for the next 16 weeks, one third the training volume, or one ninth the training volume. One third of the initial training volume was one session per week with nine sets, three sets each of squats, leg presses, and leg extensions, while one ninth of the initial training volume was one session per week with one set per exercise. So what happened? Well, in the older individuals, not training brought muscle back down to baseline quickly. And unfortunately, after dropping down to nine or three sets, they still lost muscle, but not back down to baseline, with nine sets maybe preventing losses a bit better, but even that's hard to say. For the younger individuals, things looked a lot better. With nine sets, the lean mass data showed the young maintained muscle, but the fiber cross-sectional area indicated continued growth. This difference between measures can happen, but at nine sets per week, I'm inclined to say that they probably kept growing. But with three sets per week, the young mostly maintain growth, both when you look at the lean mass data and the cross-sectional area. Okay, so this may be looking really great for younger folks and really bad for older folks, but there is some good news. The older participants in the study actually continued to gain strength even at the lowest volume. The older participants in the study continued to gain strength even at the lowest volume of three sets. And this is really important for maintaining mobility and function as you age. We also have another study in older individuals that had a similar design, which started participants off at nine sets per week, three sessions of three sets of leg extensions, and then dropped down to three sets one time per week and found that three sets was enough to maintain growth. I think based on the evidence and some experience and logic, we can tentatively say that younger individuals can probably very safely maintain their gains with between three and five sets per muscle group per week, while older individuals likely need a bit more, 
With old, it's hard to say exactly, because as you get older, you tend to move less. Physiology starts to fight back, disease starts to enter the picture, so the range for maintenance is probably wider, maybe so wide that it's something like 3 to 12 sets, depending on a range of factors for mostly healthy elderly. And as we'll talk about in a second here, depending on the context, losses are probably inevitable. So here's where we answer the question of whether we can maintain forever. It's extremely clear that lifting and general exercise is extremely important for maintaining the health of muscle. If you don't train, muscle starts to decline at 30 years of age and even faster after 60. But we also know that older people, even into the 80s, can build muscle. But these are untrained elderly. We can't make the leap to trained elderly. While we don't have any direct evidence of this that I'm aware of, it doesn't make sense to me that if you start training at 20, you'll train for a while, reach your genetic ceiling, and then maintain forever. What makes more sense to me is that you'll train for a while, reach your genetic ceiling, or close, maintain for a while, and then start to slowly decline. So it's probably more about building a reserve of muscle. But at a certain point, you will lose muscle mass. But that reserve and all the health benefits you get from doing the actual exercise and having that extra muscle around is hugely important because while it's never too late to start lifting, it's also never too early. So why the inevitable loss of muscle? Well, while it's not entirely clear which mechanisms are more dominant, as we age, there's a loss and shifting of type 2 fibers to type 1, a loss of the connection of nerves to fibers, some degree of resistance to growth-promoting signals called anabolic resistance, higher amounts of background inflammation, and other not-so-fun stuff. The good news is we can slow down most of these and even prevent some of these categories entirely. But at least for now, we can't fully beat the clock. So the answer to the question of whether you can maintain forever is probably not. You're not going to take all the muscle you gain to the grave. I'm sorry, it's getting a little bit morbid. So I'll give you two exceptions. You can maintain all the muscle that you gained if you live fast, die young. Age doesn't catch up to you if you don't age. There's also another option. Now that we got our dose of positivity, let's summarize. Maintaining muscle takes a lot less effort than gaining muscle. Even as little as three sets can be enough. This is good news on a lot of fronts. If there's stints where you simply want to take it easy, you can do so without worrying at all about losing muscle. It's also good news if you don't want to get maximally jacked. You can train for one to five years, and then after that, you can pretty much coast and that wouldn't be a terrible idea. But definitely start as early as you can. While it's true that you can gain muscle into even very old age, that doesn't mean that you're gonna make up for all those years that you spent not training. So build those reserves. You would much rather have a high reserve of muscle mass than needing to build muscle later in life because of the fact that you're at risk of being immobile. In short, it's never too late, but it's easier to maintain than it is to gain. So start as early as you can, and if you decide that you want to maintain later in life, no sweat. As always, like, comment, subscribe, and share with the people, but not the ones that hate you. Or maybe even the ones that hate you. I don't discriminate. Peace!